Hello everyone and welcome to round four of the PlayStation Pacific Elite Championship here on Race Spec Esports. I'm Lane Everingham, your commentator for this event, and this time we're racing at Silverstone Grand Prix Circuit for the British Grand Prix. ACW exits Woodcote, he's heading towards Cops Corner, entering at 300 kilometers an hour, he keeps it pinned, look at that, 100% throttle all the way round. Through Maggot, Beckett, keeping it nice and tidy, and validating his lap around Chapel, he'll open DRS, the middle sector, he's, uh, I don't think he's improved actually to the middle sector, I think he's lost a little bit of time, as Ferrari Pro bows out of the lap. So Ferrari Pro cannot improve on that personal best of his. It's down to ACW to try and take pole away from the Ferrari driver. Through Vale in third gear. He keeps it. Oh, he's short shifting to fifth now on the exit to find the traction. Crosses the line and takes pole position away with a 26.557. Let's run through the order as it is. Complete order. So, we have ACW on pole position. He's starting on the soft compound tyre. We have Plebs in P2. After he set a time we were unaware of. He's on the front row. Ferrari Pro P3, followed by Pump on P4. Both drivers starting on the soft tyre. Alex Pato, P5, the only driver inside the top 10, starting on the medium. Silverport P6, Bags in 7th, Roscoe Arm in 8th, Tinselman 9th, and BPV8 rounds out the top 10. K-Dude in 11th place is starting on the soft tyres, same with Chip in P12. Metz is the first driver outside the top 10 starting on the mediums in 13th place. Average only is the last driver to start on the soft tyre in 14th place. Power Sight in the Alpha Tauri starting 15th on the medium, same with his teammate Andre who starts behind in P16. Black Moon in 17th place is starting on the mediums, same with people Zach in P18. Of Sandman starting from the back of the field in 19th place. He's also on the medium tire. Here we go. Finally, we have 10 red lights. And we are underway here in Silverstone. ACW gets a great launch off the line, but Plebs is trying to challenge into turn one. Through the opening right hand we go, into turn two. Plebs trying to fight down the inside into turn three. He sends it deep, but ACW carries the speed into the hairpin. He gives himself the inside line for turn four. He's desperately trying to hang on, but Plebs has to relinquish. He's down to P2. Ferrari Pro just behind him, P3, pump up to P4. Someone has fallen down through the order, I think. I'm not quite sure who. Maybe Alex, as Ferrari Pro tries to look down the inside of Plebs. Can't do it there. Through Luffield. Now, turn seven. BP, Silverfort, side by side. Or maybe a bit of contact, I'm not sure. Maybe a bit more there on the exit. As Alex Pato draws alongside the Singaporean. Around Woodcote, heading down the old pit straight. Towards Cops Corner we go. They all go single fire. Look at them fly through the right-hander. Drivers running wide. Hopefully they don't get... Warnings for that, it's the opening lap for throwing out, that'd be, be merciful on them game. Through the, uh, um, the high speed S's of Maggots and Beckett's, then through Chapel, and down the hangar straight for the first time. Leaders haven't broken the way, Plevs is putting pressure on ACW, but he's not close enough to attack, not just yet. But he doesn't have enough straight line speed to challenge Ferrari Pro, here comes ACW. Looking around the long way. Oh, the race leader. They make wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact. Exiting Stowe. Heading towards Vale. BP is awfully close. Two by two, they go into Vale. Coming out of it, it's ACW just in front. Plebs tries to fight, but he slots into P2. Towards the end of the race, as Tinselman gets a penalty down in 19th. As he retires, he's out. He's crashed. That is at the exit of the chapel, and we have a safety car. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is played perfectly for everyone on the soft tyre. They can now hop onto the medium compound tyre and go to the end. Coming out of Vale, Alex goes. Round club. Crossing the control line sideways, he begins lap 12 of 26, and here comes Plebs. On power side down the inside. BP does the same as well at turn one. So power side down two positions at the opening corner. 
Oh, an ACW looking down the inside as well. Looking around the long way at turn four. Gets the drive, gets the power down, and he's into four. Ferrari Pro is the next car. Down towards Brooklyn, turn six. Don't get it done here. Roscoe Armour, three second time penalty, multiple warnings. Exiting Luffield. Heading towards Woodcote. Still the fourth trying to make a move on Pump. I saw briefly there. But he's still behind the Mercedes for now. Round Cops. Those fresh tyres. Doing a lot of work at the moment. Ferrari Pro trying to make a move. This might be nasty. They're side by side. And they somehow get through unscathed. Good driving. For both of them. I mean, to be on 10 lap older. 10 lap older mediums and still have this pace. Credit to the Italian, he's driving very well, but um, unfortunately, just because luck didn't exactly fall in his favour, yeah, he has to pit. There we go. He just has to pit. So he'll be bolting on the soft tyre. Oh, he won't get by, he's not close enough. No way he's close enough. As ACW has made a mistake, you are kidding! He had this win in the bag, he has just thrown it away! He's made a mistake at Luffield, he's in the gravel! And he's still spinning out. He's probably furious with himself with his wife doing this. That's it! He's just lost the win like that. How do you make a mistake at Brooklyn's and Luffield like that? How has he done that? Well, suddenly Roscoe Arm's going to get a shot of adrenaline because he now has to pick up where his teammate left off. Can he find that magical run to try and get by? He's got enough battery. Ferrari Pro doesn't have a great deal as they head through Cox Corner for the final time. See there, Roscoe Arm just using a little bit. Three tenths separate the two. There's a flashing light. You can see Ferrari Pro is low. Exiting Beckett's around Chapel. He'll open DRS and close in on Ferrari Pro. And there's not much a Ferrari driver can do. Roscoe Arm takes the lead. Can he build up that one second margin? I find it doubtful, but we'll find out at the line. The intervals have disappeared, so we won't find out who wins it until they cross the finish line. Through the chicane they go. Around club corner, Roscoe Arm crosses the line in first place, but the winner today will be Ferrari Pro by four tenths of a second. An unbelievable finish. That's the only way I can simply describe it. Ferrari Pro wins with Roscoe Arm in a fine second, Bags in third, Pump in fourth, Silver fourth and fifth, Plebs recovers to sixth. Driver of the day, Black Moon, started from 17th, finishes seventh. What an effort from the Aston Martin driver. Chip in eighth, Pato in ninth. An average only rounds out the top ten. To think Alex finished inside the top ten after pitting so late. Incredible effort. Keith Dugan in 11th, ACW in 12th. Giffel Zak in 13th. Andre in 14th, though. He's been incorrectly given 23 seconds worth of penalty, so he'll get that removed. Josh Sambin in 15th, Powerside in 16th, BT in 17th, and Metz in 18th place. Our only retirement was Tinselman after crashing out at Cops, uh, Cops, at Chapel at the end of the race.